Got a name for the movement. Force the vote. Hashtag force the vote. Force the vote. Jimmy Dore is on fire. Jimmy Dore is on fire. I think I'm just going to kind of let this go through. This good information. It's informative. It's exciting. AOC is addressing Jimmy Dore head on. And Jimmy Dore is, uh, you know, not backing down. And so Jimmy Dore is just fantastic. I want to first just draw the fault lines. So who's on Jimmy Dore's side? Who's on AOC's side? So right now you got Kyle Kalinske, Humanist Report, Crystal Ball, who's on Jimmy Dore's side, Medea Benjamin, Cornell West, David Sirota, Jink Ugar, and even though, you know, a lot of these people, Sam and Emma for one, you know, one example, they agree on the idea of force the vote, they just don't like Jimmy Dore. And so in some respects, Sam and Emma, even though they trash Jimmy, they're on his side too, right? So, Jink, David, Medea Benjamin, Cornell West, Kyle Kalinske, Humanist Report, Crystal Ball, they are full-throated in favor. And so we'll go ahead and put Emma and Sam against him. And uh, who else was against him? Let's see, Anna Kasparian, Ben Dixon, uh, Tim Black, and Francesca Fiorentina. So, Tim Black would seem to be on the fence. I don't know. I hope he has an evolution. He was, you know, wrong, but he heard, you know, people out. I hope, I hope he, you know, uh, watches one of my videos and, uh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, learn something. I don't know. I don't know. If, if he wants it. Maybe just uh, get a good laugh, huh? Get a good laugh. Look at this. Poor white boy. What the hell is this crap ass audio in this damn video? But why am I even watching this shit? You know, pff, take him serious. He only had enough money to pay for good ass equipment. Right? He has ten million and she can't force a Medicare for all vote? She is not fighting for you. She voted for the fucking Patriot Act. She voted for the CARES Act, the largest upward transfer of wealth in history, and blamed the Republicans that didn't cross her party, and she's doing it again. She's fucking gaslighting you into thinking you can't have a vote on Medicare for All. And she is doing it at the top of her lungs. And go on Twitter and fucking give it to her. And call her office. AOC voted for the Patriot Act. There was uh, one moment earlier in this. This is breaking AOC's gaslighting, something, something, something. He's only got 5,000 views, but I think this is going to be huge. I hope this, you know, I hope it stays up. Uh, here's a earlier portion of the show. I like how he's, you know, he got all, uh, you know, uh, reading her, her tweet, he felt the condensation. Listen, okay, little boy. And then he's like 50, you know, 50-year-old man like, you call me a little boy? What? And then he goes, fuck you. And he does it just like that, too, where he's like, he does his finger. Oh, you're going to tell me? But I'm not allowed to criticize. You're the most powerful, you know, one of the most powerful people in the entire world. And you're going to tell me that I'm not credentialed to tell you that we want universal health care? Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> and finger? And I'm the problem? Fuck you. You already voted for the CARES Act. Fuck you. And the Patriot Act. Fuck anybody who is protecting her. Fuck you. You just keep digging in deeper, AOC. You don't think people see you? You don't think people see what you're doing? Well, and go on Twitter and fucking give it to her. And call her office. That's how our democracy works, so... So what number excuse are we up to now? Is this the third version? Is this the fourth version? <laughs> this would be the fourth version of her excuses. Yep. This is the fourth. Jimmy Dore made a, <clears throat> a fantastic point about $15 minimum wage. They were saying, why should we go for universal health care? We could have fought for $15 minimum wage. And guess what? Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden already are in favor of a $15 minimum wage. That shit's off the fucking table. You don't even have to go in there. You you were you know begging for that shit when they already agreed with it. That's terrible negotiating tactic. They already agreed with you. So let that one you know just coast on. You you don't have to demand shit for that. They agree with it. They want it. It'll pass. Universal health care is the issue that needs pressure. Only fifteen.
15. The co-sponsor list can be used as toilet paper. Kamala Harris is... All they have to do is change 15 people's minds. Just 15 people in the Democratic House, what, out of 200 people, just 15 people. That's all they got to do is change 15 people's minds to vote for Ilhan Omar or any other Democrat, you know, um legislator that's out there that's, you know, willing to run. Maybe they won't get a critical mass, and maybe they won't be able to beat Nancy Pelosi, but how come there's, we're not grooming the next generation whatsoever? For 20 years, she's been the goddamn speaker. For 20 fucking years, that should just be reason enough to kick her out. How long has she been doing it? Oh, okay, that's too long. No, that's not, that's way too long. Why, why did we go that long? That's too long. Is the first one who co-sponsored Bernie's health care bill. Look at her now. Exactly, AOC. Do you honestly, who the fuck do you think you're talking to people who are as fucking dumb as you? Because I'm dumb, but I'm not as dumb as you are. You obviously think I'm really dumb, and we're all really dumb to believe this shit. That's a dumb person who thinks you're dumber than them. <laughs> you're going to vote for Pelosi, aren't you? Yes, she is. <laughs> yes, she is. You watch. AOC is going to vote for Pelosi. Yes, she is. I'm still failing to see how giving progressive primary challenges ammo for 2022 isn't a good idea. It is a good idea. There's no Fantastic reason to not idea. do this. There AOC is no has idea. no reason to there not do this. There is no reason not to do this. This is obvious. He doesn't want common to cross sense Nancy idea. Pelosi because he doesn't come. have courage. Profile and the When the she fuck has she caused the ruckus? When? When has she caused the ruckus? Someone tell me. Bring the ruckus. What has she ever fucking done? We're supposed to bring the ruckus, Jimmy. That's what she... What? We we're supposed to bring the ruckus. When has she ca When has she put a hurt on Nancy Pelosi? I just told she you. Put a God, I'm feeling like David Sirota here. Jimmy, you don't listen. You don't listen. You just want to talk over me. That's Donald Trump I don't see it. When? Tomorrow. Nine o'clock. Come on. So I super appreciate Brianna Joy Gray coming to the uh, aid of this movement. Nice. Uh, the only way we're going to get them to do this is through pressure. Being nice and telling them you like them is the opposite of how you get this done. That's the opposite. Being nice never moved anything. Power concedes nothing without a demand, and you've got to fucking demand this and say, I don't care if you're nice. We're going to fucking haunt you. And we are not letting you off the hook. And we'll primary your ass if you don't fucking do this. What you don't fight for single-payer health care now when you fix it? Not because it's going to be another Republican state. Being help. Let's just see how you do it off. fucking wonders exactly what right-wingers say about them. They've got no fucking balls. None. Their biggest think tank guy was on her worried that Kevin McCarthy was going to become speaker. That's not a chance of that happening. There's not a chance of that happening. There's not a chance of that happening. David Sirota came on this show, and he argued with me at the top of his lungs that Kevin McCarthy would be worse than Nancy Pelosi, and that's a bad thing. That's not, there's not a chance of that happening. There's not a chance of the Republicans getting a speaker. There's not a chance. So don't listen to people who are trying to find every fucking way not to do this. It's, the time is now. And if we don't do it now, you're not going to get another chance for fucking ten years. He's right. We don't have enough votes yet. Maybe later. You know, that's what Martin Luther King said from the Birmingham jail. Isn't that what he said? We don't have the votes yet, folks, so wait for your civil rights. Uh, 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 justice denied. Mark, stay in the back of the bus till we get the votes. Justice delayed is justice you people denied. Selma, don't do a march until we get the votes. Hey, that march on Washington, you know what that was? That's called performative. <laughs> the march on Washington... That was performative. <laughs> Sam Cedar. <laughs> they didn't wait for the votes. They went and forced it. Pay attention. The official gatekeepers haven't approved the strategy that you unwashed ignorant peasants are, are proposing. You're just going to have to keep waiting. Oh, oh. <laughs> 
to think of. We don't have a lot going on. All these people so who, that's, who a Medicare, them, that's a real Medicare for All organizer. Hot take this. appreciator. Ha! Enough. Medicare for All for a vote. And any fucking Democrat who votes for her is dead to me. And should be dead to you. That's it. What the fuck are you voting for? The, they voted for the Patriot Act. They voted for the largest upper transfer of wealth in history. They have done fucking nothing for you. And people who want to be nothing. nice to them, it's because they're going to bump into them at parties. I'm not. I'm not going to bump into them at parties. And if I do, they're going to be afraid of me. Hey everybody, this is 